Good morning, Cyber Traders. Happy Wednesday, everybody. On this lovely uh, last day of the pay period, last day of the month on this July 31st. Good to see you, Phil. Good to see you, Chuck, Casey. Good to see you, Gene, Benito, John, Ken. All right, all the Cyber Traders. So hopefully everyone, uh, hope everyone enjoyed yesterday's event uh, with Tom Sosnoff on our closing bell. It's just a great, uh, it's just so nice to have him up here. I hope everyone had the opportunity to be here and listen to it. If you didn't get a chance to listen to it, um, it was recorded. But uh, let me tell you, I was so impressed what he talked about. Did you guys hear that they're giving you guys $5,000 to actually trade for two days, real money? With no strings attached, I thought that was unbelievable. That is, that is a great, great um, uh, opportunity. But uh, but listen, I know a lot of you um, here like to trade options and stuff like that. Listen, at the end of the day, if you are going to be doing any type of an options trade, you know, I always like tell you that there are different brokerage firms that are better than other brokerage firms when it comes to using certain platforms, uh, depending on your trading. And you got to go out there and try. Just make sure you use our promotion code uh, on our website. Because uh, you do get some extra benefits from that. so But uh, just make sure you slap that in there. Uh, love it, but beyond my ability, John, saying. Listen, um, you know, the thing is, you hear about it. You want to learn a little bit about it. And you want to know what it's all about. I always tell everybody, you know, if you really want to know how to trade options, just, just buy an option, buy one contract and see what happens. And then, you know, you hear all these things and, and so on. But sometimes it is important to learn. You need to learn options because sometimes in case of an emergency, you might need to leverage yourself. God forbid for what I call what options are great for is an insurance policy. Now, um, listen, uh, you can look up here in upcoming events. We got a lot of stuff that's coming up. First of all, uh, Thursday, uh, which is tomorrow, we got the Cyber Expo. So we got all these presenters that are coming up. I hope everyone had the opportunity to register for it. It's one of our biggest events that we do of the year. Uh, also, um, new big announcement that's coming up. I will be at in Las Vegas. Uh, it's just been announced. I want to just let everybody know October 11th to the 13th. I found this really great company called Trade for a Cause, and um, it's pretty cool, um, but I don't want to spend too much time on it. We'll talk a little bit more as we go on uh, in the classes, but uh, Trade for a Cause is coming out with a uh, – uh, we're going to do a webinar on it, but um, they do a lot of big charity work for traders. You know, traders, you know, listen, they're, 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 tra uh, they're, they're are charities for lawyers, right? If you're a trader, you're not going to go to a lawyer's uh, conference. You want to, you know, or a doctor's conference. You know, as much as you want to go with that charity. But if you're a trader, you want to deal with traders, and traders uh, uh, are all into that. You know, giving charity uh, for a lot of you. Well, Trade for a Cause is a, a great new charity company, and I'm actually, you know, one of to be one of the speakers there. So, uh, <laughs> lawyers need charity. <laughs> you know what I mean by that, Ken. Uh, but anyway. It's, it's a great event, and uh, I'll talk a little bit more about it. We're going to do a webinar on it, but just to kind of make that big announcement that is going on. Now, uh, let's get back into having some fun. Let's go have some trading, okay? Because uh, bef before we do that, uh, we'll just talk really quick about that ENPH. I know you guys killed it already in pre-market. Stock had great, great earnings announcements. After hours, things just popped out of nowhere. Stock has been so damn strong in the beginning of the year. What a great swing trade. And it went from six. You can see it's at already 26. Stock has just been on fire. And it did a really nice pop in pre-market. So hopefully you guys did pretty well on it. That's going to stick on my on my watch list. But before we do that, I want to talk about some other stocks that we traded yesterday. First, let's start off with UA, Under Armour. So Under Armour took a very big hit and made a little bit of a comeback yesterday. So you could see Under Armour, you know, kind of like little got crushed. It was a great, great short. But we know this is not a pharmaceutical stocks. And about pharmaceutical stocks, they come back. One big thing I do want to talk about Under Armour, which was great. One of the greatest features about Under Armour, why we made, why we got it on the bounce. If you remember in pre-market when we were at the end of our presentation, I, you know, I said, you know what? There's a huge thirty thousand share buyer, and he's not getting filled. Sure enough, you look at that at twenty. What did it do? Went from twenty to twenty-one. Game over. You guys made your day's pay. There was also um, a. Uh, the warrant UAA, which obviously trades side by side with it. Another uh, big one, uh, the MYL, that had a big little pop in the open. That stock took a big, big hit, and it made a little bit of a comeback. Um, that one uh, had a nice little pop. That was pretty good for uh, regarding from uh, earnings. Uh, what else we have today? We've got a bunch of earnings that are coming out. GE. 
Now, GE is a little bit more of a brand name stock. You got to be careful with it. But, you know, there's a lot of companies come out of earnings. And this is really good to see when you have these blue chip companies, see how they're doing, because this is going to affect what's going to happen moving forward in the market, especially today. Today's a very, very big announcement. Today, we, we had the Fed rate coming out. It's already probably factored in. But the question is, how much are they going to uh, lower rates? That's going to be the big news. F C A U is another one. Looks like they uh, made some uh, made some news this morning. <laughs> you can see how things just uh, basically took a big hit from the day before. It's gapped up, and uh, possible earnings this morning on that stock. The big ones was yesterday, which we talked about in the Cyber Group room, which was Apple, and we looked at Apple yesterday. That thing was just all over the place. Had that nasty. Uh, bot trade once it opened, but uh, I know we were talking about it with Tom Sosnoff yesterday uh, from Tasty Works regarding that. That thing did pretty well, but it looks like it's flat line right now. But uh, but it did break all time highs. You know, great stock. It's been a great yearly stock too. Stock in the year is almost uh, oh, close to almost doubled. That one and the AMD trade. AMD, I mean, you could see right after hours just tanked, and it's really kind of holding here flat. So we got those stocks um, on our watch list. The problem with those, you know, we're not going to be trading those. Uh, they're, they, they're expensive. And you know what? I don't like, really not a big fan of trading even AMD on, on market conditions like this because I think it's pretty crazy. Now, what do we got for today's morning watch list? So we got the AMPH that we're going to keep an eye on. You guys know what to look for on that one. We're going to cover that in class today. Remember, phase three is going to be going on this morning. That one's pretty good. EXTR is another one. Made the watch list. That one gapped up for about 7.30. It opened up at 8.40. It's up about 11%, 70,000 shares. You got some pretty good iceberg orders over there. You can see it there on the right. You got a, you got a nice uh, 4,000 share buyer on level three at 8.15. You got a big sell of 4,000 at 8.40. Kind of makes sense why it backed off in pre-market. So that one's pretty good. I thought this was Twilio, but it really wasn't. T-W-O-U. It's another one uh, getting destroyed. Now, I, this is the one I found early this morning. Actually, this one is probably the best stock so far in pre-market that we traded. I know you guys have been looking at the ENPH, but I thought this one was probably the best on the short side. So you can see that stock has been doing great. I don't know how many of you got there. But the only concern is with this one, it, um, big spread. You got to be a level three trader or higher to get into this stock right here. All right. Now, uh, what else do we got here? And then uh, last but not least is the F-E-Y-E. That one also uh, looks like it took a very big hit. And it's not a pharmaceutical stock, so that's a good sign, which means they usually get a little bit of a dead cap bounce. It looks like it's doing that right here. Looks like, uh, and one thing's nice about it, it's testing these major support levels right here. So that's probably why you're getting that bounce. Uh, only bad thing, spreads are really small right here. You got some big buyers at 3,000s here, right around 13, 35, 95 and, and 91 cents. Don't really see too many big sellers out there, but the book map on that looks really, really exciting. All right, guys, so there's your watch list. Want to cut it short because I want to get ready for class with you guys, uh, for all my uh, gold and platinum students. Um, once again, if you want to know more about how to learn and how to learn how to trade, just talk to your education advisor here at Cyber Trade University. So we're going to take, we're going to trade a lot of these stocks going to the open and uh, have some fun. In the meantime, everybody, have fun. Have fun today. All right. And uh, we'll see you back at uh, this afternoon for the afternoon meeting. And don't forget to register for all the upcoming events. All right. And if you want to know more about those events, just talk to your education advisor here at Cyber Trade University. All right. Good luck, everyone. Happy trading, everybody.